In this first now you try, we have 2z cubed over 4. So what I'm doing is just simplifying here. I have a 2 on the top, a 4 on the bottom. 2 goes into 2 once, that's gone. 2 goes into 4 two times. So all I'm left with is z to the third on top and 2 on the bottom, which is choice A. Problem 2 here. Okay, before I can start crossing stuff off, I need to simplify if I can simplify. On the top, I can pull out a 7. When I pull out a 7, I'm left with x minus 5. On the bottom, I have a 49. Now, I can um, simplify if I can simplify. I can't do anything with this x minus 5, but I see this 7 and 49. 7 goes into 7 once. 7 goes into 49 7 times. Therefore, on the top, I'm left with x minus 5. On the bottom, I'm just left with 7. Therefore, my answer is b. And lastly, number 3 here, we look. They look very similar. We have a positive 5 on top, a negative 5 on the bottom. Positive x on the bottom, negative x on the bottom. So they're exactly the same, but the complete opposites. So I always get an answer of negative 1 if they're complete opposites, which is choice C.